Vlog Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay with me in the purest of vibrational energy. Okay. Um, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay, as I have said again, so shall it be. And judgment is final. We are ascending over here. And let's go ahead and find out what in the name of swords is going on so we can ascend some more. Okay, so we have someone that may have been trying to come in to have you trapped in some type of either legal matter that had nothing to do with you or people were trying to trap you in something that absolutely has nothing to do with you. Someone's plan was to set something up in a way where you would have no way out of it. And then maybe I guess they will come in to rescue you, but that's not what's going on. You are free to be, someone is baffled by the fact, by the fact that you are not stuck in your head about something. This is like people doing there are people or someone doing something weird behind the scenes, trying to get you trapped in your mind, trying to have you wondering, well, what the heck is going on? Like kind of basically making you go crazy in a sense. Um, and if you say something about it, then people say, oh, that don't make no sense. What are you talking about? Um, but someone is disappointed and has to walk away. They may be going through some type of health issue. This could possibly possibly be someone's mother or wife that was collaborating with people behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending. May have been interfering with some type of connection for a long time with your forward movement. Someone has been very determined. I'm telling you, very determined to cause you an ending. But she may be having to walk away right now. And I actually think this is something that's final. She has to walk away because she's losing a lot behind the scenes, which is bringing an end to this chapter. Because something I think she's realized is that the more she does to you, the more she loses. So it's like a tip for tab, but except what she's losing on her hand end is a lot worse than what you're losing. Someone did this just because they didn't want two people to come together. This is something where it is that they don't want you to have genuine love, genuine relationships, genuine connections, things of that nature, but it's not going on. Like you're not stuck in your mind. You're not trapped in your mind. Like you are like, why I open bushy, <laughs> bushy tail, bushy eye tail. What, what do they say? I forgot what the saying is, but your eyes are wide open. You may be going through some type of awakening or you've already gone through some type of awakening. Um, and you are kind of free to be you, free to do what you want. The plans you have for your life, you're free to take those on. And I think you've already been doing that. But whatever someone has been doing behind the scenes, it is not something that they are able to continue because it's causing them a lot. People may be separating themselves from this woman. Um, so whatever she was doing, it has been exposed. It's not a secret anymore. Someone is very too much excuse me someone is very much trapped in your head a lot and this is because she's dealing with some inner wounds well not dealing with it as in the resolve it but she has some inner wounds that she's holding on to and this is why she sees you as an enemy someone is i don't know if it's that you're younger or some there's something about you that bothers someone but it's not something bad on your end it's just something that makes her feel uncomfortable which that could have to do with your age your youth your beauty Maybe your complexion, your knowledge, that things like that. Maybe people loving you uh, naturally, people being drawn to you. There's something like that that bothers this woman. And this is why she's been causing stagnations for you, interfering with your movement, your connections and things like that. But it has come back to really hunt her or bite her in the behind. Someone who has some health issues going on and she maybe she wants to heal now or maybe she realized, yeah, she wants to heal. Maybe she's trying to see things from a higher perspective. So she's having to walk away and kind of prioritize or self-actualize, which is something she's been avoiding. But you, you are free to be. And 
whatever stagnant period you're going through is coming to an end and you're going to be connecting with someone. Um, you, yeah, you're going to be having a brand new passion in the beginning, maybe traveling or someone is traveling towards you. But this is not something where it's that they're going to travel towards you and it's something that planned, that's planned as far as the human uh, time frame, right? This is something where the divine is orchestrating this. So you two are going to meet naturally um, for this connection to come together. But whoever you're supposed to be connecting with is going through some type of rebirth, starting over, starting a new life, moving to a different city, maybe where you live or just moving somewhere else to start over because they've lost a lot in their past chapter. They're starting over. And this is someone that is prepared and ready to be with you and to commit with you. You may have a couple of, yeah, he has ended a chapter and he's leaving it behind him and he's moving on with his life, right? Someone has kind of cut their loss in order to be able to move on. And he has done that beautifully. You may have a couple of, yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> This is beautiful energy. Yes, this is what he's headed to. He wants to be married. He wants to be in an abundant relationship that you could give and take. Both of you are successful in life, in a, in a beautiful community where people, you know, support one another. Just things like that. Living just a beautiful, in, uh, 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 I don't even know what to call it, but just an abundant life. That's not to say you're not going to have problems. You will, but life will still be peachy for you at the end of the day right because in life you're always going to have problems no matter what is going on right it doesn't matter how rich you are how beautiful you are whatever okay how educated you are you're always going to have some type of problem in life to deal with right but this masculine has put in the effort to heal and to start over and he has taken a chance to move on with his life so in a sense you're being set free he's being set free and the two of you are going to meet and you know, has some type of very beautiful and genuine love for one another. Okay. This is a relationship that is divinely orchestrated and meant to be. So you two are going to be meeting at like the right time, right place, things like that. Um, this is like divine intervention. Okay. Um, you two, not you two, maybe it is you two from what I'm kidding, from what I'm getting. So the feminine energy in this situation you have a mat not a masculine you have a couple of warlocks behind the scenes that have been trying to block you from getting into a connection with one another okay so you have warlock a and warlock b that has been competing with one another to block each other so warlock a is blocking warlock b b from being the first one to come into your energy Warlock B is blocking Warlock A from coming into a connection with you. Neither of them are your twin flame soul, twin higher level soul mate, so you don't have a contract with these people. They just know that you are someone very abundant, and if they get with you, they're going to have access to your abundance, right? As, especially once it manifests into the physical. This is why they want to get with you. Another thing is that they are possibly smitten by you. You have a genuine and healing energy about yourself. And this is not something they are accustomed to because a lot of the women that they've been dating are women that don't really have any type of substance to themselves or self-respect and things like that. These are women that just really get with these masculines for stability, convenience, and just different motives, like arterial motives, not for genuine reasons. And they know you are someone very pale and then you have the audacity to be business savvy uh, a good mother, a good wife material. So they're very much smitten by you. Okay. Um, so there's, there's been some type of battle going on behind the scenes for some of you feminines and you don't know it that you've had warlocks competing for you, but they don't have a contract with you because none of them are, have really done the work to you in order to be your partner in life. Because if these people, these masculines have not done the work to you and they come and collaborate with you, you're going to go from this to this because they don't know how to how to properly manage your kind of energy. It may be foreign to them. So they, they may be faithful to you for maybe three weeks, but after three weeks, they're going to be back to their nonsense. They don't really know how to manifest the kind of life that you want, the kind of lifestyle that you deserve or you're supposed to be in. So 
You being with these warlocks are going to cause a stagnation in your ability to manifest. But you've already manifested a genuine relationship, an abundant relationship with a higher level soulmate. So this is something that is very important to you and it's essential to you, especially when it comes to your ascension. Um, because ascending is our reason for incarnating and this is going to be a very beautiful relationship as you can see this is a relationship from the most high this is a gift to you and to him from the most high whoever this higher level soulmate is that you are going to be connecting with you two will each will understand each other on a level and in a way that is foreign to a lot of people is that you'll understand each other naturally you don't have to wonder what they're thinking you will know you don't have to wonder what they're feeling. You'll know when your partner is hurting, you'll know what to do to cheer them up. It's things like that. And these warlocks behind the scenes aren't accustomed to things like that. They know that you have a ten of pentacles attached to your name, whether that is something you're building. Maybe you have an inheritance coming in or some type of abundance coming in. They know that. And that's mainly, mainly the reason why they want to connect with you. So you have to thread with caution. I'm telling you. You have to thread with caution. They're really just there to block your blessings. These are narcissists that are interested in you and don't understand and are never going to be able to understand your energy. You may even have women behind the scenes that maybe felt you were you were competing with them for these masculines, but you knew nothing about it. You didn't, you didn't, maybe you knew the masculines, but you didn't see them in their light. You kind of just mind your business. Whether you're single, not single, you don't really, whether they're single, not single as well, you don't really care. You're kind of just living in your own La Vita Loca, focusing on your pentacles, right? Yeah, focusing on your pentacle and accomplishing your goals and things like that. I'm telling you, accomplishing your goals, focusing on your victory. Like you're basically trying to figure out how can I get from A to B and how can I get from B to C? That's what uh, Queen of Pentacles do. They sit down, come up with a plan and they uh, figure out how to, see that plan through right uh add the practical aspect of that plan into their life like how can they take the necessary steps to get from a b c d all the way to z right so that they can fulfill their purpose fulfill their mission and things like that and they're very balanced in their mind as well you may have something going on with the justice system behind the scene with that with this car being out here Something could be being balanced out. I will be very cautious because someone may have done some type of fraudulent work in the justice system, maybe even forced your signature. I've been getting something about how a group of people, maybe they knew that you were supposed to receive some type of inheritance, but they may have told the courts that you were illiterate or you were incompetent and they tried to steal it from you. They cannot have it. This car was coming out sideways, so I'm going to put it in the reverse. So this is something where someone may have gotten some type of illegal authority to invade your privacy because they wanted to get evidence that you were incompetent uh so they wanted you to seem like you were legally incompetent so they could have access to this abundance but they were never supposed to have access to it so there could be some type of legalities going on and something could be being balanced out if they manage to get a hold of this finance this resource whatever this is they're going to have to give it back so someone has put themselves in a bigger hole than they would have been in if they would have just left things alone they were trying to steal love from you as well. Someone has gotten caught doing something they were not supposed to be doing. And this woman or man, whoever it is, may have thought that they were going to get away with it because this is something they've been doing for a long time, causing, causing stagnation, interferences, manipulation. Yeah, she is absolutely cut. Whatever she's been doing has been illuminated and she's not able to do it anymore. Okay, someone has been doing something for a very long time, even paying people. She's lost a lot of money. Yeah, she's been paying people and has lost a lot of money behind the scenes, pulling around with you, trying to block you from having genuine love. And again, it's because of jealousy. Someone may be financially stable, but she doesn't have genuine love. And the fact that you're someone who's, a, who's naturally a healer, you are someone that's healed, it bothers her because your energy naturally draws people towards you, even if you're not looking for attention. And which people that are like in this energy, they're hardly ever looking for attention. But people kind of draw to them easily because of that vibrant, that vibrant energy, that natural, natural healing energy they have about themselves. So she's been paying people behind the scenes or giving people money uh to do something block your forward movement try to steal something from you um and she's just she's busted yeah she was trying to block this connection 
I don't know if the person she was trying to block is her son, her ex-husband, husband, whatever this is. Maybe he doesn't want to be with her anymore because she's been taking some type of action to say that she's protecting what she loves or something like that. It never was hers because someone has kind of distanced themselves from this woman emotionally and possibly physically. They don't want to be with her. For some of you who this is a situation where the masculine is leaving her. And for others of you, this is someone, this is a situation where a masculine was interested in you. And this woman stepped in to interfere because she didn't want to see you in a flourishing relationship. So she's been interfering and causing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes. She's no longer able to cause manipulations because people are woke to the things that she's been doing behind the scenes. So you're putting an end to all of her plans. I'm telling you. I just saw the tower. Everything she's been doing is exposed. Like she's out in the open. She can't do it anymore. There may be like an emperor that's asking a lot of questions or he's taking action to bring balance into a situation. You may have had an emperor that was working with this woman as well behind the scenes. Excuse me. I'm telling you. Yeah, you are set free. Everything is exposed. There are no more secrets. Everything is exposed. You are being set free. To go on with your life if she's been blocking your income your resources all of that has been put to an end she cannot interfere with your life anymore and if she dares to do that there are legal issues she's going to face or she's going to be losing something there are people in life these types of women and men they think because they have money right they can do whatever they want this will be one of those people that will sit back and say i have all the money in the world to block you and i'm going to keep paying people to block you and God will sit back and let her do it only to, because she thinks that since she has money, she's invincible. And God will let her do that for a specific amount of time. And when he's done giving her chances to grow the heck up and she refuses to, she'll get struck with an illness that money cannot buy a cure for. So there's something like that someone may be going through. She may be sick behind the scenes. There's no cure for whatever it is she has. And this is justice being brought into this situation. Someone, someone could very well be sick and passing away because of what they did to you. Because this woman's energy that I'm getting, someone is very bitter and just angry for no reason. You've never done anything to this person. Some of you may not even know this woman, which is why, which is, uh, which is uh, really interesting because you don't know this person, but they have a lot of animosity for you. Uh, so it's like she has to be out of here in order for you to be able to move on and the most high has no problems with doing that they say well we've given you chances to mind your business and you don't want to mind your business so you know what i'm telling you so you know what we're gonna have to take come on on back come on, on back here because obviously this this lifetime is not working for you it's a little bit too hard for you um this grade level you're in you're not going to pass this one so come on on back you know come on on back and you'll go to sleep for a thousand years and when you wake up you'll try again um this you'll try again at this uh, incarnation thing because you're just not getting it right so someone knows that you know you're free to go it may be pissing her off this could be a masculine as well that's pissed up behind the scenes because you're free to go i'm telling you they're pissed up because you're free to go you stood your ground someone thought they were going to keep dragging something out you may have people that are protecting you or standing up for you behind the scene against this narcissist um, but something she's about to go through or she's going through is not something that she's going to be able to recover from, right? She's not going to be able to recover from it because people know, like, it's not something you can hide. It's, I'm telling you, it's not something you can hide. This woman here is going through some type of light. I don't know if she's getting sick, homeless, losing a home, getting pulled out of a home. She's being let go. So if this is the situation where she was with a masculine and she didn't want to let the masculine go, he may have put her out of a home or something may have happened in a way where it's set up by the divine for her to lose a home or for someone to lose a home. Because what I'm getting is that this is something she was intending for some of you, for you to be homeless out in the street, no address, no legal or residence or nothing like that. And then that makes it harder for people to find you. And in situations like that, when you are out in the street wandering, you don't have any solid place to be it's easy for people to come in and do you something and you go missing no one's looking for you because you're a homeless person so your people tend to kind of devalue you and say well they're homeless so they're probably out somewhere in the streets or something when the whole time you're laying in a gutter somewhere or someone has burned you up or something like that 
this is what someone was intending for you and she's the one that's going to end up losing her stability like someone is turning their back on this woman okay she's been cut yeah someone has uh been, she has been cut the truth is exposed this is what she was wanting for you this is what she was wanting for you and the truth about her has been exposed because i think what it was is that people just didn't understand for a long time what was going on they didn't understand what was going on and you all know i typically tend to use social media as an example let's say you start a social media platform and your platform is absolutely amazing right and you're putting content out every day people love your content and but the, pl the platform is not growing and they're wondering like why is this person's platform not growing something is up it don't make no sense. Like this person's platform is very informative, is very entertaining. Um, like this, you find something really appealing about it. Okay, it could be the maybe it's educational, maybe it's informative, maybe it's entertaining, whatever it is, right? But every day this person is putting out content, and you're just not seeing the growth in their channel, and everybody's looking around wondering, like, what in the world is going on? At first, viewers don't realize it. They just come back and watch and they say, wow, this person has been stuck at this for a long time. <sighs> Only for people to realize that she has been doing something behind the scenes to interfere with whoever it is platform from growing. Or maybe you've been in a company for a long time and you're really good at your work. You show up at work every day. You commit yourself to your job. And, you know, for some reason, you're not receiving a promotion that you qualify for, even if you ask or inquire about the promotion, they don't want to give it to you. So you've been in the same position for 10 or 15 years. Meanwhile, you have younger folks or people coming into the company with less knowledge, getting these promotions and things like that. That's because there's someone behind the scenes that's blocking those promotions and things like that, right? So it's something like that, okay? You could have said something, someone else could have said something that illuminated the truth. And this is why this woman is going through some type of ending. You're being set free or, uh, I, never mind on that. Never mind on that. There's absolutely a conflict going on behind the scenes, okay? You are being given a new beginning, a new uh, opportunity to start over new in life, in love, in opportunities. Uh, a whole lot of new beginnings ahead of you, okay? You may have people out here with some type of plan to bring something to an end for you. The Most High wants you to know you need to stay calm because they're going to take care of you. I'm telling you, someone has been causing a lot of stagnation and the truth has been spoken. Why some type of stagnation has been going on? So if, if the two of you, you and someone were supposed to get together and for some reason, it's just extremely difficult for the two of you to come together, no one knows. Uh, the masculine doesn't know why it's difficult for the two of you to come together. He doesn't understand why he's reaching out to you and you're not responding. The truth has been revealed that someone has been causing stagnation in this connection. Okay. So, yeah, the truth has been revealed. Every action or manipulations, everything that she's been doing has been revealed okay and because it's been revealed now everything time is the time like all the preparations you two i know i know from our human perspective it seems like it's blockage stagnation and things like that but when you are going through all of these periods this is a preparation period the most high or your ancestors are prepping you for the next period of your life okay so there's something for you to learn in this chapter so it may be chaotic all kinds of stuff going on, you are being prepared for the next chapter. So with everything being out in the open now, everything is ready. You are ready, your masculine is ready for you two to come together and be able to move on and start your new chapter. <laughs> yeah, you two are ready now to come together so you two can move on, okay? So all of, yeah, all of this was necessary for this new beginning to come into fruition everything was necessary and as annoying as some of these characters may be in your life that have been causing you stagnation blockages smearing your character defaming you and things like that this was all divinely orchestrated by the most high you are an example to some of these people because they know what they tried to do to you some of them know what they did to you behind the scenes but yet you woke up every day and face life with your head up high, smiling, being courteous, 
to the very people that were out here trying to destroy you. Okay? I'm telling you, you two are coming together, new beginning in love, romance, whatever, abundance, empires. Yeah, you two are coming together. Okay? And as I said, you and this masculine, when you two meet, it's not something that's planned. It's going to be accidental. I had a dream where like two soulmates met, but it wasn't planned. They met somewhere like I don't know how these two met. When I even when I even had a dream, I was like, how in the world did this even happen? Because they met in a way where it was just a, oh hi, and it's like, uh, what are you doing here? This is like the last place you should be. It was something really like just is it was astonishing the way it happened. But the two got together, started hanging out and things like that. And before you knew it, they had, you know, they started as like really just beautiful friends. Like the dream was just really beautiful. Like, honey, I'm gonna leave it. It was just a beautiful uh, dream. But the way the, the two of them met, it was just like wow. Like Stories really be ahead of people, ahead of the game. Because with that coming up, that lets me know that people have been in here either trying to block a masculine from moving on with his life, uh, block a feminine from being able to move on with her life. So the both of you have been mirroring each other in a way. Um, and this is essential to your ascension for the both of you. When you come together, you two will have a story to tell I uh, have something to laugh about, okay? And there's something going on here with a judge or a lawyer. I don't know if they accepted some type of bribery. Um, maybe they're letting go or returning some type of payment or they don't want to be part of some type of bribery that has been taking place. Um, someone has been doing something in the court system to make sure something goes in their favor, okay? They've been in the, yeah, someone has been going to the court system trying to get something to go in their favor. So if they believe that they deserve something, they've been going to the court system, causing stagnation, preventing you from receiving some type of abundance that was left to you, for some of you. Um, and for some of you, there's some type of, uh, yeah, divorce proceedings going on. Um, and someone thought that she was going to have everything, maybe try to take someone for who, for everything that they've got uh and it's not working okay like she's been causing a lot of conflict and chaos manipulations and things like that just so that she can be able to get what belongs to someone and it's not happening there's a judge or someone some type of court official that's in the upright and he's choosing to do the right thing so this woman may not walk away with a penny she may not walk away with a penny when it comes to yeah she's been causing a lot of illusions in the court system when it comes to uh those of you where this was like an inheritance that was left for you and someone has been trying to steal it from you in the court system it's going to come back to bite them in the behind they won't be able to steal it from you um whatever they've been doing as well to cause uh conflict manipulating and things like that is leading to some type of legalities for them because someone may have forced your signature, someone may have gotten a judge to sign some type of papers and things like that. Someone may have stolen a document. Someone may have tried to send you a fraudulent document so you could sign it and then they could take that signature and tr transfer it to the original document so they can make it look authentic. Something like that is going on here and it's going to come back to bite people in the behind absolutely bite them in the behind okay yeah there's something going on in court there is something going on in court and it has to do with someone's abundance someone's inheritance finances whatever this is a relationship coming to an end a decision has been made like whoever i don't know if someone stole a house someone refused to leave a house Someone refuses to leave a masculine's house, wherever the situation is, is the decision has been made for them to leave. Like they have to leave. They can't keep that house. It does not belong to them. Whatever property, yeah, someone does not want to go. They're trying to make it as hard as possible to be put out of this home, but they got to go. They have to go. I don't think the court system, yeah, they have to go. The court system does not care like where you go. 
Yeah. They're like, we don't care where you go, what happens to you, but you got to leave this property. It doesn't belong to you. You got to hand it back over. Because for some of you, someone went, may have gone about something really slimy. They, someone, for some of you, they may have tried to say that you are not here anymore. Um, and I don't like you. I don't know. There's something going on about a property in court, or uh, like some type of inheritance or finance or something. Something is going on in court, and whoever has been doing something sneaky behind the scenes is not going on because people have knowledge of what she's been doing. Something has been illuminated out of the manipulations and stagnation, confusion, and things like that. It has been illuminated. Yeah. And she's burdened by that. Everything. You may have a couple in here that's going through some type of loss as well. I don't know if a couple came up against you to steal from you, block you or something. They're going through some type of separation and they're losing something that does not belong to them either. Okay? It does not belong to them. And someone is burdened because they, they may know their wishes are not coming through. Some type of action they took has put them in a bind that they cannot get out of because now people know the truth. They tried to block you in love, block opportunities, block your victory, everything. And people know that and it's causing them a lot of burdens. Someone has to answer in court for the things that they did. I think someone went to a little bit too far with something and they have to answer for it. Okay. They went a little bit too far. It could be someone's wife or mother that went a little bit too far. And they're going to have to answer for it. Someone was out here working with a lot of people. A whole lot of people to cause some type of stagnation. I'm telling you. She's not getting something. Promotion, whatever belongs to you, she's not getting it. She's not getting it. The truth was spoken, the truth was revealed, and she's not receiving something. Promotion in reverse. She's not receiving it. That someone did a whole lot just to make sure something went in their favor. A whole lot. And they didn't care what it is they were doing to you, how it affected you. And they didn't care. So they're not getting it. They are not getting it. And this is something someone has been doing too where oh my gosh this is something what someone has been doing where when you're supposed to receive a promotion in life some type of new connection i don't know what it is they will get in and interfere with it and all of this has been exposed about her or him whoever this is man and balance has been burned in here whoever she's been working with honey <laughs> they're not doing too good either they're not receiving some type of, I don't know what they were expecting, a lot of money, a financial payout, whatever it was they were expecting is not happening. Yeah, it's not happening. It's disappointment. It's not happening. So if someone wanted to come in to give you some type of false love offer just to cause more stagnation, prolong this stagnant period, it's not happening. It's not happening. It is not happening. They're being kept out of your energy. It's not happening. This is crazy. You're going to be having like a new beginning somewhere else where these people will not be able to interfere with it. At this point, at this point, I think there are people in here that are basically cutting their laws. Yeah, they're cutting, cutting their laws and kind of just moving on. Okay. Someone may have lied that they had some type of relationship with you. Someone's trying to say that you two either were married or you two were a couple. You two had a fling. You two had something or you two were working together. You never worked with this person. I don't know if someone said they had a one night stand with you or something. You never did. If they were working with a feminine energy behind the scenes, that's over. That's over. Okay. It is over. over. <laughs> This is over. Okay. Dang. Yeah, the justice system, they know. They know what these people have been doing. They know what these people have been doing. For those of you where this has to do with people blocking your inheritances in the court system, 
uh, just committing some type of fraud in the court system in regards to you, the, the justice system knows. The justice system knows. They know. Dang. They know. And someone saw they were net. Oh, man. Someone saw they were never going to get cut. And the fact that this information is out, the truth has been revealed. If people were trying to hide you, you've been found. They like everything is out. And the, the, the worst thing you want is for the justice system to know the truth, for the courts to know the truth about a matter. And that looks like that's what's happening. They know the truth. So there's a divorce going on. There's something going on in court. It's different for a lot of you. There's either a marriage falling apart, some type of fraud being exposed in court. A couple has legal issues coming in. They may have took, honey, they may have took some type of impulsive action to cause you a loss. Maybe someone went and pretended in court that you two were married so they could have access to your abundance or something like that. And that was the worst thing to ever do. That was the worst thing to do. That was the worst. No, no, they should have never done that. Don't ever do stupid stuff like that. I'm telling you. They, it, it's known. Someone cannot come into your energy because you know the truth. They can't come in and gaslight you, play with your emotions, nothing. Because they know you know the truth. You know the truth. All they're doing is wishing and hoping at this point, planning, wishing, hoping that it can come towards you and you have your sword pulled out and it has them burdened. It's like, I already know what you did. You're not coming in my life to gaslight me. Have me start a new karmic cycle with you. We're not doing this. Okay, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. So you are being partnered up with someone new. You see how they were doing you? You were supposed to receive a promotion. They interfere with it. They said, no, she can't have that. And then the most high said, oh, that's okay. We have a 10 of pentacles for her anyways. So while you are out and about, you're going to meet someone. And this is going to be when you least expect it. You're going to meet someone that you'll end up working and building with. There's an offer that was supposed to come towards you. Yeah, when you're out and about <laughs> freely. Yeah, when you're out and about, this situation is going to be over because you already know the truth. People know the truth. A lot of these people took action to martyr themselves, hang themselves physically, and they thought they were hanging you. And everything has been illuminated. And you're secure, you're protected, you're washed over. But when you are out and about and when you least expect it, that's when you're going to meet whoever this is for you two to work together. For you, I'm telling you, for you two to work together. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Coming together. Celebrating. Having a family. Family is very important to the two of you. Family is very important to the two of you. So while they may have been able to block a seven of pentacles opportunity for you, you're getting, I'm telling you, you're getting the ten of pentacles and they're not happy about that. You don't see someone as a wish fulfillment. Someone out here is a freaking drunk and has toxic ways they refuse to grow the heck up from. So you are not partnering up with this person. Okay, you're not partnering up with them. These people are not getting their wish fulfillment. If someone partner up with someone else in the past, they find out real quick that they chose the wrong person. Someone that's not business savvy, they're not successful, they don't have a successful mindset. Someone that's not optimistic, they don't know how to take, uh, see the opportunities in situations and things like that. Someone is just a leech. They overindulge in everything. If you had a masculine that was wanting to be with you maybe they changed their mind because they know they're gonna have to man up to be with you and they don't want to do that someone is still very materialistic so they're not really able to come in and give you a genuine offer 
So, but deep down, deep down, this person has emotions for you, but they just cannot act on it. They cannot act on it. So they're gonna have to keep that, keep that on the inside. Because someone has not done the work. Is they having, and I don't know if this person is your soul twin, but it's like having someone who you're supposed to have a contract with and you've done the work for you in a sin, right? And because once again, ascending is the reason why we come here. But this person has not done the work to ascend. But initially, he still wanted to come in and give you an offer. But he's realizing you're a little bit too sharp for the BS. So he's not able to come in and just give you bare, the bare minimum. But he's going to have to be all in. And he doesn't want to do that. So he may be cutting his loss and kind of just staying in Carmichael. Whatever this is. But I, I keep getting something about someone lying that they were in a relationship with you, but you weren't. You were not in a relationship with this person. This is someone that was collaborating against you behind the scenes. This is someone that was collaborating with you behind the scenes. Someone may have told people that he slept with you uh that you did stuff online i don't know what this is someone may have told quite a bit of a lie a whole lot of lies and the fact that they told this lie on you may have led to someone refusing to give you an offer because it changed their perspective of you this person could be now realizing that they were lied to they were lied to so they've missed some type of opportunity with you. Someone is going to be beating themselves or saying, I knew I should have worked with her. I knew I should have worked with him. Damn, look what you've cost me. There's something like that going on. It could be something with two masks.